Hello people of the internet, um, slightly different environment today on my desk. Um, I wasn't going to film this but I thought yeah, somebody might find it interesting and helpful. So as you can see um, these are the keys from the 1.4 Tigra um, yeah, and they've suffered the usual collapse of the membrane on the outside um, but this one is the second key and well, hopefully you can see, let me zoom in a little bit, um, the buttons have actually gone. So I have got to well, I've got two new covers, there you go, that have just turned up. Um, so that one's an easy one. Um, I literally got to take the the key cover out and replace the membrane, uh, which is relatively easy. But on this one, I'm going to have to change the board as well. Um, hopefully this is focusing okay. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to change the board because obviously those buttons have just disappeared. Um, I have got a new board. It is there, like that. But obviously when I've changed the board, I've got to reprogram the key into the car. And that you can do with Voxcom. So first of all, let me get the good key in a state where it's um, it's got a good membrane on it. And then we'll, uh, then we'll attack this one. Um, hopefully you're picking this up. My camera keeps saying focus failed. Um, you know, the joys of DJI equipment. Um, Hmm. We'll see how this turns out. If the video is blurry, I apologise now, but we shall see. So the first job is to get this cartridge bit here out of the key itself. So this outer cover here is the key, and this cartridge bit here is the bit with the um, the board in, the battery, everything else. So if you're changing the battery, same applies here. So you get a screwdriver in there, and then you have to give it a little bit of leverage, um, which will require two hands. So there you go, it does require a little bit of force, so don't be too gentle with it and don't be too worried. But as you can see, well hopefully you can see, um, I've now popped that bit out of there, like that, and that's making that whole section there slide down. And so if I get the screwdriver in there, this is not easy with one hand, you can see, hopefully, there you go, it is moving down. Let's see if I can do it one-handed this is going to be tricky but there you go so it slides out like that once you slide it out you can then turn it over and then basically uh same principle applies you need to prise these two sections apart and uh, obviously change or take out the board from the inside of this one put it in a new one so again just needs a little bit of leverage from the screwdriver in that part there and the whole lot comes apart like so be careful because you don't want to damage the board now obviously we've got to take the battery out of there which is a known good one because uh, i've been using it and put it into the new unit which is down there and then obviously put the board into the new unit so that's the battery in there just take a little bit of force to get it in um, keep an eye on your tabs just there um, turn it around those tabs there because they connect up with the board and the board is in there that will only go in one way as well so you can't well you suppose you can get it wrong if you force it but uh, yeah in theory you can't get it wrong right now just time to put the two together and there you go all back together again looks a lot better a lot a lot better so all i've got to do now is slide it inside there and uh, job's done for this one anyway the other one's going to be a little bit more tricky but much the same there you go, all complete. Um, all you do is just basically snap it back into place again from where you took it from. Good stuff, all cleaned up, all nice and tidy. Got a decent key. Right, number two. So disassembly, pretty much the same as the first one. Battery case there, um, keypad there. Obviously won't be using that one, so we can throw that to one side, out the way. Um, gonna introduce that into the new case. There you go, so just like the first one, uh, put the board in there on top of the battery, clip it all back together again, and then we will slide it back in the key again. Of course, this isn't going to work at the moment because it's got to be programmed into the car. So, next thing, let's get it programmed. <clears throat> right, I hope you can see this. <laughs> it's getting a bit dark out there, as you can see. Um, right, I've switched to the good old faithful SJ Cabins camera. Because I know last time, the uh, the Pocket Mini didn't pick up the laptop very well. So let's get booted up. Let's get uh, Vaxcom connected. 
and then hopefully we'll have a smooth key program in. Right, to do this, you're going to need a car pass, which comes with the Vauxhall uh, from factory. Um, if you haven't got this, uh, I can tell you now it's 40 quid out of um, Vauxhall themselves. Ask me how I know. Mm -hmm. I'm the blue one, I had to do that. Um, which has got your numbers on the back of it. It also has your security code, which you're going to need in Vaxcom. Um, if you don't want to pay 40 quid, find somebody with a really good garage spec um, scanner. It is possible to get the number out of the system rather than buy one of these, but I didn't tell you that. Yeah, I did. So, struck up Voxcom and need to go into the body control module. Choose that. And again, body control module. Choose that. Hopefully this will uh, come up well on camera. So it didn't come up well on the uh, the DJI Pocket Mini, but this is the SJ Cams SJ8. Seems to, um, well, from what I can see in the screen, it seems like it's... Uh, picks up the screen better right so we need to go into programming and programming again security codes and put that in mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so there you know what it is and not it's going to help you because it's unique to, to all cars okay that right program remote car key that's the one we want so we'll hit that press any button on the key fob there we go, remote key, oh, let's get it down here, remote key successful. Um, back, and that should nail. Um, let's test it. Right, let's turn the ignition off. I think you've got to do that first and recycle it, as I remember. That's the new key. Oh, there we go. So, that's lock. That's unlock. And let me just prove that I'm not Pull in your chain. There you go. That's the one I'm using as well. That's got the key ring on it. Unlock, lock, unlock. So now we've got two keys all rebuilt and programmed in using Voxcom. Not a difficult process, but um, just have to think about it for a little bit. Um, the key really is this thing here, the car pass. If you haven't got that, um, you do need to um, find somebody with a, a very good code scanner. Um, a lot of garages have them, so if you've got a garage friend, they'll probably do it for a, a few pounds for you. Otherwise, it's going to be Vauxhall, unfortunately. Anyway, um, it's dark, it's horrible, and it's getting cold, so I'm going to call that a day. There you go. Hopefully the video will be a little useful, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, Internet. Have a good day. Bye-bye.